when they come out that they're completely soft. The whole wing is just like silk. We got some out of this tiny chrysalis. Ah, this one is going to hatch within an egg star. You see why? Oh, you yeah. can see the wing already. Here are the two wings. Yeah. The rest is the body. So the day before they hatch and the day they hatch before they come out, the skin of the chrysalis gets almost translucent and one can see already the color of the wing. So this is going to hatch within an egg star. As it's relatively cool today and dark, they're hatching relatively late. Oh. Do they typically oh, hatch in the morning? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they okay. flying butterflies, so they close it. Here you can actually see the whole thing. And if we take a little bit longer, maybe we're ready when this hatches. Would be great. Yeah. Because yeah. if you want to film the hatching of a butterfly. Absolutely. Yes. But let's start with the eggs. Okay. What you can see here are eggs of different species. And the reason they are here is that we collect them trying to be faster than tiny parasites that lay their egg into the butterfly egg. Yeah. There are wasps, there are mosquitoes, there are horse flies, flies, and they lay it inside without the good microscope, you don't see the difference. It looks like a healthy egg, but later on, instead of a caterpillar hatches, either the larva of a parasite or the parasite itself. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So we collect the eggs. Uh, well, it's a little bit more work because we have to close them in. We have to moisten this every day. Actually, it's not humid, I see. So they have enough humidity. They don't need anything else when they are in egg state, but they need humidity and oxygen. And once they hatch, I should have dropped my glasses, but I don't see anybody. Or is there one climbing up here? First thing caterpillars do when they hatch is they eat the shell of the egg. That okay. gives them some strength. And normally after eating the shell of the egg, they start eating their host plant. Oh, yeah. You know, that's the most complicated thing about butterflies. That each species here, talking about day flying butterflies, has only one plant where they lay the eggs on. That's the only plant the caterpillar can eat. Like your famous monarch butterfly. Yeah. yeah they lay their eggs on milkweed. Milkweed, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Really? So if you're just following a butterfly, you might go and go and go until it dies and it will never lay an egg because it's a male. A male. So, so then I got the idea of collecting caterpillars. Oh. Whenever I found a caterpillar, oh. I took the caterpillar home with the leaf or with the plant and fed it and waited what it turned into. So if wow. it turned into a beautiful butterfly, then I knew I had to plant this plant, this host plant. Wow. Oh, oh that makes so much sense. Yeah. Are there any butterflies that are sexually dimorphic? Uh, not normally, but it can happen, like in any species. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, are the ants are probably a problem. Are they hell on your chrysalises or? On the chrysalis, on the, the newly hatched caterpillars, on the caterpillars that mold their skin when they cannot defend them. Oh, when they cannot defend them. No, this just came out. That's now, as I said, this is this incredible moment. Give me your hand. <gasps> just feels like this. Feels mm -hmm. it's so soft. It's completely soft. Oh, wow. So if you see now, it will start. Yeah, now it starts like opening the wings a little bit. Yeah. What it does, it pumps a liquid into the veins. The liquid is in its abdomen. It's hemolin. Hemolin? Well, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> no, but <it's> me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You tell me what it is. But anyway, they pump it so the wings get spread. Yeah. Oh, wow. Once the wings are spread, like here, it's already hard but it doesn't fly off because afterwards the liquid goes back into their abdomen and they have to lose weight. They have to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> they have to poo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are these spikes, are they dangerous? That's what most people think. That's what animals think. So it's a good defense, but all the good defenses only work with animals. People are just too brute. You know, an animal, if it sees something that gets frightened, it goes away. Mm -hmm. But people tend to kill whatever frightens them. Without they are laid in a cluster of 40 to 80 eggs. Oh. And uh, when they hatch, and up to now, until the end, they stay all together. They only go during the night for feeding, and then they come back to stay together. And maybe it's a sign of trying to defend themselves. If they're all together, they don't look like a caterpillar. Yeah. Besides their strong colors may frighten predators. Ugly when they hatch because they have such a fat belly, long feet, and the wings are just winking and about the size of your thumbnail. But it doesn't need it because that's why it's got the space. But feel yeah. it, it's just really like, oh, it feels incredible. Just like some wow. silk cloth. So, 
Can you clarify? You know the myth that people feel like when you start killing That's what them? people, that's what my mother and my daddy told me too. <laughs> <laughs> and I understood it. The way that this, they call it dust in German, the dust and yeah, butterflies. The dust, yeah, the so dust. So I yeah. understood that's kind of fairy dust. So yeah. I actually... Made you fly. Went, well, that's what I tried, yeah. Yeah, me I, too. I, I, I tried the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I took off, I don't know how many butterflies, the scales, put them on my shoulders and tried to fly down <laughs> our cellar stairs. I flew down. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>